good afternoon students welcome to the online classes of sbr public school okay in a yesterday's class i have started to explain the lesson the blind dog which lesson i have explained to you in yesterday's class the lesson number 4 the lesson name is the blind dog okay because of some technical problem uh, yesterday's class was not that much clear so today i am going to repeat the class and today i am going to finish off the lesson okay so today we are i am repeating some uh, paragraphs and today i am going to uh, trying to finish off the full uh, lesson okay see the same paragraphs whatever i have explained in the yesterday's class first i am recalling vijay lakshmi miss uh, has taken uh, she has given the introduction of this uh, lesson so first i am recalling that and again i am continuing with the next uh, paragraph whatever she has explained no that things now i am first going to explain then i am moving to the next uh, paragraphs okay children understood uh? so this is the uh, this is the story about the street dog so the dog was born on the street uh, streets and grew up feeding on the garbage of the market it spent its starting three years hanging around the market is just roamed in the market in search of a food okay then one day it uh, this dog met to the blind man okay the blind man was actually he was the beggar so the dog one day it met to the blind man and this blind man who gave provided a who gave food to the dog and this blind man and the dog become a friends okay children understood so the blind man and the dog become a friends okay now i am moving with the next uh, paragraph blind man still pretending you have no eyes if you are really blind you should not know this either he stopped his hand moving towards the bowl the dog sprang on him and snapped his paws on his wrist the boy extricated his hand and ran for his life the dog bounced up behind him and uh, chased him out of the market see the mongrel's affection for this old fellow marvel the perfume vendor so the dog was started to protect the blind beggar why children because the blind man was giving food for the dog so that's why this faithful animal started to protect for the blind beggar what happened one day a village or chin archin means Archin means a young child, or also we can say that the boy. So one day, a uh, village archin, what uh, this boy did to children? This boy stole the blind beggar's uh, coins and started to tease uh, him. Okay, so this boy archin, what he did? Uh, he uh, has stolen the coins from the uh, bowl. Okay, whose bowl it is? The blind beggar's bowl. So this boy has stolen the stolen the coins from the bowl and has started to tease the blind man. But the faithful dog, what it did? Uh, children, the dog uh, bounded up behind him and uh, chased him out of the market. Okay, see the next. One evening at the usual time, the old man, old woman, failed to turn up, and the blind man waited at the gate. Pouring as the evening grew into night, as he sat sitting there, a neighbor came up and said, "Sami, don't wait for the old woman. She will not come again. She died this afternoon." So one evening at the usual time, the blind man was waiting for the woman. Who was this woman? She was taking care of this man. Actually, this woman was uh, dropping him. Okay, from one place to another. So she, totally overall, she was taking care of this uh, blind man. The ribbon to the blind man. I told take this ribbon and tie it uh, around the dog's uh, neck and let him uh, lead you. So see the next paragraph, children. Life for the dog took a new turn now. He came to take the place of the old one. He lost his freedom completely. His world came to be circumscribed by the limits of the white coat which the ribbon vendor had spared. He had to forget wholesale of all his life, all his old hands. He simply had to stay on forever at the end of his day. 
when he saw other dogs friends or foes instinctively he sprang up tugging the string and this invariably earned him a kick from his master rascal want to tumble me down have sense in a few days the dog learned to discipline his intact tender impulse he ceased to take notice of other dogs even if they came up and growled at his side he lost his own orbit of the moment and contact with his fellow creatures so now the dog lost its freedom completely the total life of the dog uh, came under the control of the blind beggar okay children understood so now the uh, dog lost its freedom uh, completely and the total life of the dog came the under control of the blind man blind beggar he simply had to stay on uh, forever at the end of the string actually the dog wanted to enjoy its life actually the dog wanted to move with its friends uh, uh, it wanted to enjoy its life with the other uh, dogs but this blind man uh, become more greedy so uh, he did not allow the dog to uh, a contact with his fellow creatures that's why the dog now it is feeling very how it is feeling so upset okay because uh, now uh, the, uh, the dog completely lost its uh, freedom okay circumscribed means what children kept within the limits circum described means kept within the so now the totally the life of the dog has a changed okay now it came it lost its a complete freedom okay children see the next paragraph to the extent of this loss his master gained he moved about as he had never moved in his life all day he was on his legs led by the dog with the with the staff in one hand and the dog led in the other he moved out of his room a corner in a, a quality veranda a few yards of the market he had moved in there after the old woman's death he started out early in the day he found that he could triple his income by moving about instead of staying in a one place he moved down to the quality streets and whenever he heard people's voices he stopped and held out his hands for alarm shops schools hospitals hotels he left nothing out he gave a tug when he wanted the dog to stop and shouted like a bullock driver when he wanted to warn okay so now the blind man understood that uh, he can triple his uh, income children triple means not a double he can own a, a triple of the uh, income uh, by moving one place to the another place instead of standing on the same place so now the blind man understood that he can triple his income by uh, moving one place to another place okay instead of standing on the same place or on the one place so what he did he moved on to the all uh, college streets and he went to the hospitals schools hotels okay shops uh, everywhere he went for alms alms means money okay also we can uh, uh, add this uh, call it as a food given to poor people one more meaning it is giving that food given to poor people not only the money food also we can give that is called as a allowance okay so he started to beg uh, everywhere uh, he went to the shops uh, schools uh, hospitals hotels for asking the money for begging uh, the money okay see the dog protected his feet from going into pits or stumping against steps or stones and took uh, and took him up inch by inch on a safe ground and steps for this side people gave coins and helped him children gathered around him
gave him things to eat a dog is essentially an active creature who punctuates his hectic rounds with well defined periods of rest but now the dog this dog uh, had lost all rest he had rest only when the old man uh, sat down somewhere at night the old man old man slept with the car turned around his finger i can't take chances with you he said so now the dog protected him from every harm okay now the dog started to protect him from every harm because he is providing the food for him so the dog took him up inch by inch uh, and the safe ground and the safe steps okay for the sight after seeing the scene the people on the uh, people on the street started to give them the coins and also the children started to give them the water the food okay now the dog become a restless because in the day time also it was working children and also in the night time who is working the blind man the beggar he is begging for full day and also in the night time okay see the next one he said a great desire to earn more money than ever before sees his master so that he felt any resting is a waste of opportunity and the dog had to be continuously on his feet sometimes his legs refused to move but if and uh, he uh, but if he slowed down even slightly his master would get him fiercely with his staff the dog wailed and groaned under his clothes don't wail you rascal don't i give you your food you want to loaf do you swear the blind man the dog lumbered up and down i round and round the market place on slow steps tied down to the blind parent long after traffic at the market east you could hear the night step by the far off wail of the tired dog it lost its original appearance as once rolled bones stuck up at his hunches and ribs were relieved through his fading coat okay so now the blind man wanted to own the more money he felt that resting is like wasting the opportunity what are he is thinking children resting is like wasting the opportunity wasting the, the time so that's why the blind man what he did the blind man was now begging for a day and a night sometimes uh, the dog also uh, refused to move because of that the dog's legs are so pain no but if it refused means he was shouting at the dog and sometimes he was abusing scolding and also he was using the bad words okay with the heavy heart it was moving uh, it was moving who was moving with the heavy heart the dog also it was crying at the night time at the night time people can hear uh, the tired the painful cry of a sorrow who was crying children at the night the dog was crying because it was the under control of the blind beggar it's lost its original appearance as months rolled the dog become very weak and a uh, thin uh, and it's a bone stuck up children okay it become very weak understood that see the next paragraph The ribbon seller, the novel vendor, and the perfumer absorbed it one evening when business when business was slack and held a conference among themselves. It rends my heart to see that poor dog sleeping. Can't we do something? The ribbon seller remarked. That rascal had started lending money for interest. I hear from the fruit seller he is earning more than he needs. He has become a very devil for money. at this point the perfumer i caught the scissors dangling from the ribbon rack give it here he said and moved on with the scissors in his hand so now the ribbon seller novel seller perfume seller observed the condition of the dog and they showed the sympathy on them that time the ribbon seller told to the other seller that the beggar is now earning more money than he required because he is working for day and night and earning more money than he
acquired and also he started to lending the money so he is giving he is lending money to the others people it become like a business okay he has become a very devil for the money okay children understood the blind beggar become a devil for the money at this time the perfume seller came and uh, he is thinking to cut off the dog's ribbon with the scissors okay now see the next one children next paragraph the blind man was passing in front of the eastern gate the dog was training the lead there was a piece of a bone laying on the way and the dog was straining to pick it up the lead came out i hurt the blind man's hand and he tugged the string and kicked to till the dog howled it howled but could not pass the bone lightly try to make another dash for it the blind man was heaping curses on it the perfumer stepped up applied the scissors and slipped the cord the dog bounced up uh, bounced up and picked up the bone the blind man stopped dead where he stood with the other half of the string dangling in his hand tiger tiger where are you he cried the perfumer moved away quietly muttering you heartless devil you will never get it him again he has his freedom the dog went off at a top speed he knows about the ditches happily hold himself on the other dogs ran round and round the fountain in the market square barking his eyes sparkling with a joy he returned to his favorite haunts and hung about the butcher's shop a tea stall and the bakery so the blinder man was passing in front of the eastern gate so there was a piece of a bone laying on the ground or the laying on the road the dog actually it was trying to pick it up for eating but this uh, uh, blind man was holding the ribbon very tightly out means forcefully he has a uh, hand pulled that uh, ribbon he did not allow uh, the dog to uh, take it or uh, to eat so that uh, that uh, the same time the perfume seller came uh, with the scissor and just he cut the that uh, ribbon okay the dog bounced off find a pick up the bone the blind man uh, tried to stop the dog and he two three times he called a dog dog where are you stop stop and also he cast uh, kept the name for the dog as a tiger he was calling the dog as a tiger so he called her two three times to the dog he told to stop the dog went off at the top speed the dog ran away happily roamed about the market place the dog ran round and round the fountain his eyes were sparkling with the joy now because it is a free to fly it was running everywhere in the market and also it went to his favorite places which were his favorite places are uh, dogs uh, like butcher shop or uh, tea stalls and a uh, bakery so this uh, dog went to all its favorite places to enjoy it so it's a uh, life okay see the next uh, paragraph children the ribbon vendor and his two friends stood at the market gate and enjoyed the sight immensely as the blind man struggled to find his way out he stood rooted to the spot waving his stick he felt as if he were hanging in mid air he was really go oh, where is my dog i will murder it when i get it again he grabbed about tried to cross the road came near being run over by a dozen vehicles at different points tumbled and struggled and gasped he would deserve it if he was run over his heartless black guard they said observing him however the old man struggled through and with the help of someone found his son uh, found his way back to his corner in the colliery veranda and sat down on his gunny sack bed half painted with the strain of his uh, journey okay children now the ribbon vendor and his two friends uh, stood at the market gate and uh, enjoyed the see they enjoyed the sight how the blind man was struggling uh, to find his uh, way because he can't see the road he can't see anything because he is uh, blind 
so they were enjoying this uh, scene the blind man stood at the stop like a pillar okay he was stood on the main road in the middle of the road uh, like a pillar dozens of vehicles were roaming on the road but he was stood by in the middle of the road like a, a pillar he was wailing oh where is my dog if it come back means now i'm going to kill it okay see how his mind is he wanted to kill it if it uh, he will get it back means okay and this time the ribbon seller said to the another uh, uh, seller that uh, he deserved it because he uh, treated very badly with the dog so this blind man deserves uh, this because he treated the dog very badly okay children see the next uh, paragraph he was not seen for 10 days and 20 days nor was the dog seen anywhere they commented among themselves the dog must be loping over the whole earth free and happy the beggar is perhaps gone forever hardly was this sentence uttered when they heard the familiar tap tap of the blind man's stock they saw him again coming up the pavement led by the dog look look they cried he has again got it got it it either tied it up the ribbon seller could not contain himself he ran up and said where have you been all these days so the ribbon seller window windows discussed with the, each other what they have discussed the children uh, since 10 to 20 days happened not the dog seen nor the blind man see okay the dog could be enjoying his freedom maybe it was enjoying at they not completed this sentence just they were discussing that time they heard the tap tap sound okay they heard the tap tap sound of the blind man okay they saw and they were surprised what they saw that he again got the dog and he i did up okay children they asked the dog where have you been all these days it means the dog came back okay the dog again came back to the blind beggar okay children see the next now what happened cried the blind man this dog ran away i should have died in a one day or a two confined to my corner no food no anana to own in prison in my corner i should have perceived if it had continued for another day but this uh, thing returned when when last night at midnight as i slept in bed he came and licked my face i felt like a murdering him murdering him i gave him a bowl which in uh, which he will never forget again said the blind man i forgave him from a dog he looked as long as he could pick up some rubbish to eat on the road but real hunger has driven him back to me but he will not leave me again see i have heard this and he should be laid it was our steel china this time okay children so the blind man said this dog ran away i i should have died in one hour two days why he was going to die because he he is not having any food to eat okay he don't have a food to eat but it came back yesterday midnight okay as i slept in the bed who is saying these all words the blind beggar is explaining these all things to the other sellers that yesterday night he was sleeping and midnight this dog came back to his house and he the dog came and started to lick his face okay children and also he said that uh, that time i felt like murder it i uh, actually that time how he was feeling like kill the dog but uh, he forgave him okay after all it is a dog what he said i forgave him because after all it is a dog okay the blind man said the real hunger has driven him back to me why it came back because of the hunger 
Yeah, because to fulfill his stomach, this dog came back to me because of the real hunger. The dog came back to me again. And because this time I brought the steel chain. First time he brought the ribbon for tying the dog's neck. Okay. This time what he has brought children, this time he brought the steel chain for uh, tying the dog's arm, uh, tying the neck. Okay. This time he brought the steel chain to tie around the dog's uh, neck. Okay. See the next one. Again, there was a, uh, once again there was a dead despairing look in the dog's eyes gone you fool cried the blind man shouting like an ox driver he tucked the child put with the stick and the dog moved away in a slow steps they stood listening to the tap tap going away death alone can help that dog cried the ribbon seller looking after it with a sign what can we do with a creature who returns to his doom with a such a free heart okay despairing note down the meaning of this means to loss of hope. Okay, one more meaning do. Means like death. Okay, so once again there was a uh, dead loss all hope in a dog's eyes. The blind man cried and started uh, to repeat the same thing with the dog. How he said, go on you fool. And it, again he started to shout on the dog. He shouted as an officer, driver on the dog and said, you fool, move. So he pulled the china and uh, poked with the stick and the dog uh, started, uh, the dog moved very slowly and started to move slowly. So the ribbon sailor showed the sympathy on the dog and said uh, the death can uh, alone help the dog. So what he said, the ribbon seller, uh, he showed the sympathy on uh, the blind, uh, this blind dog and said uh, the death, death only can help the dog from this blind uh, beggar. Okay, okay children, the lesson is uh, finished. I hope you everyone understood this lesson. Okay, children. Now I am going to the notes. Now I am going to give you the first bit of this lesson, which is the first bit of glossary. Okay. Now start writing, children. Okay, the first bit of this lesson is glossary. Culvert, a passage for Waste paper, sorry, waste water, that passes under the road.
Okay. Now take the next meaning. Slight unpleasant look. Unpleasant look. And family. Places orbit here they restricted path. Number cost difficulty by giving unwanted. Circumscribe. Kept within. Kept within. Narrow limits. The last one is punch of a lid. Bone of back leg.
Standing. Out. After this, uh, I'm going to the next bit. Next bit is draw pass bit. Second bit is right to a false. The dog had scarves on. Materialized tails tail because it. Was timid. Answer is not true. Second one, the last two sentences. In paragraph one, The dog led a carefree life. Answer is oh. next one is the dog. Was a beautiful creature. Answer is okay, still two are there. Okay. Four and a five. Again, two are there in this set. Two or false are bit. Now I am given the three. I giving the fourth also. Please note down fast, children.
Outro lado. Dabilesh, Artin. Market place to just do his business. Answer is not true. Last one, children. The beggars' alarms increased increase threefold. Threefold means triple. Okay. Report means triple. Increased uh, three four. Okay. So the answer is uh, true because it started to own the triple. The beggars' alarms increased uh, three four. So the answer is true. Because he started to earn the triple of his income after meeting the dog. Okay, okay, children. In the next class, I am going to continue this lesson with the notes. Okay, students. Thank you. Have a nice day.